They start on the ground here at Sanders. Well, that's too much touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And down he goes. there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down. The Panthers at 6-5 and five now of the year. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as good as done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them. Galvanize themselves and go forward and get a win in this one. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all. Hurry, hurry. On first down, he'll drop to throw. They're trying for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Falcons will take over here just shy of the first drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive. Yeah, there things to build on because they found some play calls that work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turn. They face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Blitz forthcoming as he looked to throw. Now the pressure comes. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Take it on the midfield logo. It'll be 37 yards there. Football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. And now the throw to three on second and four. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll be brought down at 10. Here's another first and 10. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And he is out of visit mouth. to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to be brought in. minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. This here now is second and ten. Back to throw again. Flush to his right. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds. They'll run with Sanders. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers have cut it back within a score. But Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the foot. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, this one into as they come up second and ten. Looking to throw. And this throw. Him into Aaron throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. Hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. D.J. Chark with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Panthers get a late score here in the final minute of We're the first. not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And Shark calls it in. And he'll be seeing the colleges delivered to the NFL. And he'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the three. Two left here in the half. On is the field goal unit. Spotted at the left. Hash this from 45. The kick by Pinheiro is good. Their next drive. 
And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 40. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he just gets rid of it. A tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They're trying to find Sharp, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Falcons are going to take this time. Maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be the conversion as they come up on third down. They'll drop the throw. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And what else could go wrong at this point? This is going to be a defensive touchdown as they keep piling it on. The offense they've had. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Open man right side is Sharp. Yeah, he'll be out just a... Now back to throw. That is taken in by Hurst. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be number four. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Adam Thielen with career touchdown number 70. And the Panthers have got it back, back to there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got his big tight end. That's they have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Trump plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Chark with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy of what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. They're trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he's the shoot. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. On the move to his left. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one into the hands of DJ Shelton's 34 yard line. Now, left side, a completion to his tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15 just to you. I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball. And you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a now the ball comes loose, and the Falcons grab it. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of that broadcast. Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Atlanta, they continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10-2. And, and they'll get to stay home again next week as the New York Jets come to town.
Meanwhile, for Carolina, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. 